The death of Eric Garner in 2014 after New York City police struggled to arrest him put a national spotlight on the treatment of black men by white cops. The officer at the center of the confrontation was never charged, but today, all these years later, he was suspended just moments after an administrative judge recommended that he be fired. Here's Chief Justice Correspondent Jeff Pegues. It has been five years since NYPD officer Daniel Pantaleo put Eric Garner in a deadly chokehold. Today's recommendation that he be fired came after an NYPD discipline trial which ended in June. Whether that actually happens is now up to Police Commissioner James O'Neill. Today, Eric Garner's daughter, Emerald, pleaded for the commissioner to act. We've been waiting for five years for someone to say that he did something wrong. And they finally made that decision today. Garner's cries of I can't breathe 11 times are among the last words he spoke before his death and ignited months of protests for accountability that never came. First, a grand jury in Staten Island decided not to indict Pantaleo, and then last month, the Department of Justice declined to bring federal civil rights charges, insisting this videotape evidence wasn't enough to prove Pantaleo committed a crime. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio, who's been heavily criticized for how he's weighed in on the case, praised the recommendation. But today, for the first time in these long five years, the system of justice is working. Since the incident in 2014, Pantaleo has been on desk duty, even racking up at one point $40,000 in overtime. Today, he was suspended without pay for 30 days. The head of the police union called the whole thing political insanity. New York City police officers now will be considered reckless every time they put their hands on someone. Jeff Begay joins us now from police headquarters in lower Manhattan. And Jeff, when are we going to know the commissioner's decision? Well, now the clock is ticking. Pantaleo's attorneys have two weeks to respond to the administrative judge's decision today. And then the police commissioner, he reviews the case. He makes his decision, which is final. And he has said that he could make his decision before the end of the month. All Laura. Right. Jeff Begay, thank you.